What's going on ladies and gentlemen? This is Demo Storm. Sorry for my phone going off during that intro. But I thought today we will show a part of the aisle that's supposed to be coming in the future. This is one of the artifact sites from what they've said. Well, let's go inside to check out what's going on in here. Um, this is kind of like an old place and it's supposed to be like where you'll be able to use the researcher faction to figure out things and level up your crew. As you can see right down there, that's a spike pit. But uh, these are for the when the humans arrive. They've already built in these huge structures. They're all over the map. There's camps everywhere and stuff. And yeah, uh, there's there's a raptor up there. That's not good. So <laughs> we're just gonna show you. This is like a sacrificial place. Uh, this island was created to actually research dinosaurs. I don't know much more. That guy's pretty boss for getting up there. And yeah, I found quite a few people hanging out as raptors here. It's kind of one of those areas. I guess you really can't get killed. But yeah, it's kind of like a giant spike pit at the bottom of that thing. And this guy who's a raptor up here. I don't know what the fuck he's doing. Oh, there's a Carno down there. So anyways, we're just gonna jump down this spike pit and see what happens. Ah, oh, strange. I don't think it's coded in yet. Uh-oh. Yeah, we are quite stuck. Um, help. <laughs> yeah, there's no real way out of this. I, I was hoping it was going to kill me on impact, but I guess it's not really coded yet. These spikes aren't real. Um, I'm sure in the later game it will work better. But anyways, let's go back to the magical suicide. Oh my god, this game is, has so much potential. Let's see. Hmm. Let's see. What can we do? So the Carnotaurus is is modeled beautifully. Uh, some people tell me it looks a little small. Um, you got to remember, most of your comparisons have to be based on. You know, I mean, right now it looks like most people are basing their shit off of Ark. That doesn't really work. Oh my God, that thing just killed me in one bite. That is crazy. Huh. Um, let's just take out this thing for shit and giggles. So these things remind me of the things from Dinosaur. If you guys remember. And I'm pretty sure, yep. If you hit J, you can switch from bipedal to quad. So now I'm running on two feet. Now four. Four. Yeah, look at that. That's pretty good damn coding. Uh, so it does more damage like that. But slower. I see. So when we put our hands down, there we go. So guys, real fast for those wondering, the home key opens up the console commands as you guys can see. Uh, we also have the end key, which is the you know escape key. You also have insert, which brings up the stamina in the bottom left corner and at the right corner coordinates. For those wanting to talk. Hit enter and type. Hit enter and again to put in your typing. Um, yeah, some people are asking me some commands. Um, bottom right corner you will see is where your food and water will be. Um, usually, it, when you need it, it will start to, you know, change colors. 
But uh, then you go up to these things, and with the insert key on, I believe, you get the circle. So when it, like, see how it changes? You just press E and drink your water. Um, I haven't been an herbivore very much, so I don't know exactly what they eat. What do herbivores eat? I don't know. I know it's a certain type of plant because they were missing for a while. But, uh, yeah. Just keep walking around as this giant dinosaur. This thing's pretty beastly, too. I've seen it wipe out a lot of things. This is another camp for humans. This looks kind of like a poacher camp, if I were to say. It's not very high-tech, but it's not very low-tech either. So we'll keep moving. See what we can find. Is this food? No? Are you food? No. I don't know what herbivores eat. I haven't played them long enough. So we'll keep rolling. Um, if you guys have any other questions about the game, let me know. Uh, for those wondering if they want to buy it, you really have to have more of a early access kind of thought mind process. Like, you got to see the game for its potential, not for what it is now. Uh, if, if you are not into, you know what I mean, a game that you ha might not see anybody, kind of like DayZ for a long period of time, and if you do, you could die in a couple seconds and have to restart completely, then, you know, this might not be the game for you if you don't want to, like, have constant gameplay. Uh, I know they're going to have servers later on that are Team Deathmatch, you know what I mean, you just jump into a match and go. Kind of like a Call of Duty base kind of thing. And, yeah, just kind of showing off these magnificent dinosaur kind of creatures we'll just take a nice screenshot so i have a thumbnail for you guys to see this beauty right away um but it it doesn't run bad this game is running 60 frames per second for me on highest settings uh the settings are a little wonky so you know what i mean find out what you really need uh, i'm running a 980 so you know 4790k so things run a little bit better at higher settings for me but yeah we're just gonna Keep rolling around as this guy. I just like the fact that they coded in, you know what I mean? By quad. By quad. Like, that that's a cool setting. Because it gives the dinosaurs, you know what I mean? Different feels. I wonder if the Spinosaurus is going to do that. That'll be excellent if it does. Especially for a river creature that, you know what I mean? So much controversy. It was a four-legged uh, quadrupedal. Quadpedal? Kind of creature. I know it didn't run like this. People believed it did because Jurassic Park. But Jurassic Park wasn't all that accurate. I've actually met a teacher in one of my colleges that believes that raptors didn't have feathers. Those things are not supposed to be called feathers. They're made out of a different material. But uh, you'll never know. You know what I mean? Different research says different things. But yeah. I hope, you know what I mean, we'll see the updates coming. Uh, I've gotten two more updates in the last two days. So, you know, this game is being worked on. Uh, the developer is actually streaming himself working on some of the stuff, so go check him out. You should see him under the game forms, you know what I mean, talking about it. And yeah, this is this is really what the aisle is right now. It's a test. It's a role play if you really want to. If you can get a couple friends on, you can build a herbivore thing and just kind of wander the map. As you can see down in chat, people all screwing around. And I've seen, you know what I mean, I had that T-Rex pack the other day, and we were just hunting to eat. And we were, you know what I mean, kind of role playing our roles. I ended up stabbing them all in the back, but a few of them actually, you know what I mean, thought it was hilarious, so. I love those roars. You need to have roars in a dinosaur game. I don't know why Ark doesn't have every creature have one. Uh, I understand they might not know how they talk, but they just need something to add character. Like, I, I, I have a good feeling, you know what I mean? You can use sound in this game, you can use smell, you can use sight to find all these creatures in the future, so. They're also going to have a thing when you're VOPing as an herbivore. Only other herbivores of the same tree, like, thing will be able to understand each other. You use VOP as a T-Rex and an herbivores nearby. They just hear roaring at each other. And humans only hear dinosaurs as roaring. Uh, dinosaurs won't, will hear humans as, like, static or something. I don't remember. So it's kind of cool. So, Yeah. And, yeah, I'll just kind of end it here, guys. Sorry for the short video. I've been quite sick lately, so 
I'm just trying to, you know what I mean, keep on my own feet for a little bit. So I've been Demo, and I will see you all later. Ta-ta.